Hello everyone and welcome to my first tutorial. I thought I would have a really good time coming on here and sharing how I built this mill with you. We just built it in our creative let's play world. You can click the link above to see that episode. And I thought that it would be nice to show you how this was done. So let's just come right over here and I will get everything that we need for this tutorial out so you can see all the supplies. Okay, so for the basic structure, all you need are some wall pieces and some slabs. I've got andesite, cobblestone, and stone brick wall pieces, and basically all the gray stone slabs you can get. Cobblestone, andesite, regular and polished, stone brick, and regular stone. So, the beginning to this build is fairly simple, just a little five by five. So you can build it out of whatever material you'd like. Um, you can start with cobble or anything that you want to start with. Andesite is good too. And just bring that all the way around to make a five by five square. So the two, three, four, Four, oh, <laughs> five, wow, it would help if I actually counted, wouldn't it? Yeah, so you want to get a five by five square going on, and then, yeah, so it should be a three by three on the inside, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you just go up five from there, so two, three, four, five, and we'll build up all the walls to this height. All right, now that we've got that done, we want to go ahead and make a roof here. Oops. <laughs> make a roof here on the inside. And we can do that with slabs or with full pieces. The advantage to using full blocks is that then the wall pieces will actually connect. Whereas if you only use slabs, as you can see, the wall pieces do not connect. So that's why I use full blocks here on this part to make a roof. Now, obviously, you're still going to be getting, oops, you're still going to be getting some light in through here, but it shouldn't be a problem. And then we take more wall and we go up again, this time in a three by three. So on the roof that you just made, you go up again another five and this section of the windmill is purely decorative there will be no functional purpose to this space so but you don't have to worry too much about lighting it up if you're super worried you can but it will be mostly open as you can see over there so there shouldn't be any spawns during the day and at night if something spawns in here it it won't be able to get out anyway so it won't matter <laughs> so Let's finish this up five blocks high. There we go. Done. No. <laughs> All right. So to make it look beat up, it's very, very easy. All you have to do is come in and remove some of the stone that you put in and you can replace it with other pieces of stone or you can just leave big open gaps like this. So I will go through here and texturize this whole build. And when I bring you back in, you know what? Let me just clear the weather really quickly. We don't need this all around us while we're trying to build. <laughs> it's a little too dramatic. All right. So I'm gonna go around and texturize this whole thing. And I'm, what I'm doing when I do that is I'm literally just knocking blocks out and either replacing them with another block or just leaving the gaps. And obviously in the very front, you want to have a doorway. So basically in the front, you want to have a doorway and then we'll do this around all the walls. So let's get this done. Now that that's done on the outside of this, we'll do the top. And I just realized that I built these out of two different materials. Oh, that's all right. When you do this in your world, you really can have a lot of flexibility on the materials you use. You could add in anything you wanted to. 
to a build like this and it would still look pretty good. It's, it's very flexible that way, mostly because it's so beat up and rough around the edges, which is nice. But definitely, yeah, definitely make the top and the bottom out of the same main material when you make it in your world because it looks way better that way, doesn't it? With the cobble being consistent. Now on this one, I used mossy cobble, but in my regular world, I actually ended up not going for mossy cobble because once I got into the world, I realized I couldn't find any mossy cobble. Yeah, that was, that was a problem. <laughs> Make sure that you have all the materials you want in the world that you're working in. <laughs> uh, so that is looking pretty good for the basic main structure. Uh, the reason we got these slabs out and these extra wall pieces is that around the outside, you can kind of add in some extra bits as decoration. Kind of like um, adding a little lore, just adding a little story as to where all these wall pieces that have fallen out have gone over time. Maybe uh you know maybe they just kind of ended up scattered around the outside of the building and they are just kind of laying around on the floor i kind of like that little bit of story a little bit of lore goes with our world and just makes it a little more interesting and fun to live in so let's add a couple more pieces around here and just one more piece here maybe yeah that looks good and oh i could spell that would help there we go let's do the floor in here because we definitely need a floor right so we'll just lay this in for now it's just a placeholder floor because we're going to be going in and doing some work to the floor and Let's see, the next step of this is the sail. So I'll just run in, run and grab what we need for the sail. So we've got what we need. And this was, yes, in the middle. That's what I thought. So right in the middle of the top, you plonk in two of these with a button at the end and some grindstones coming out now i know grindstones are workbenches but they're pretty cheap to make in survival and it's not terribly difficult to find the ingredients so and also if you don't want to use them uh you don't have to don't worry about it <laughs> just use what you want from this build take what you like and leave the rest all right so we went up, oh, now this is gonna be hard to do because I'm flying, so let's, let's get behind here. Uh, and let's see, I think I went up three, right? One, two, three, and then over and up, yeah. That's what I did, three. So get up here, and one, two, three, and then over and up, and we'll do the same on the bottom, draws one, Oh, of course. Okay, that's fine. I'm one short. Gotta love that. Okay, two, three, and then over and out. And let's run some of the chain as well. Oh, darn it. I forgot about that too. There we go. Okay. So there. And then we'll place the other one over here. And then we can just add on to those as we need to. So let's see. I believe I went out three again and then down one. Yep. So four is too many. Okay. And then we'll add the one down after I've added in the wool. So to add in the wool, all I did was I went in and added it, to be honest, a little haphazardly. I 
kind of had a basic shape in mind that I wanted to achieve, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure what it was going to look like until it was done. So I think, yeah, there's one side. And what I ended up doing is taking this off and putting it down here. Right. And then down here, I had a little bit less. I didn't want each side to be perfectly even. So I wanted them to look a little torn up and raggedy to match the rest of the building. And that meant that they couldn't be perfectly even, but I could do my best to make it cute still. So if I add that much, that's not bad. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's kind of the look I'm going for. And then I just add the other bit of chain to the end of that to make it look like something's holding it up. And I'll clear the weather again. I don't know why the weather is so bad in my creative test world, but it just is. And then to give it a bit of symmetry, you might want to place the wool on this corner, matching the wool up in that corner. Or well, maybe not a perfect match, but something, something similar. Because that will give the build just a little bit of symmetry there. See, when the two shapes are similar to each other, the build gets a little lift, a little boost. And we can add one on this end as well so that we don't have random chain just sticking out. And then we'll do the same thing up here. We'll kind of just a little bit kind of mirror what's going on down there. So not a perfect match maybe but similar oh that's a perfect match um but you know what it doesn't bother me let's see let's add that in hmm i think that i'd like to give it just a little bit more something up there yeah there we go just a little bit more weight on that side, I think, is all that, all that I needed. For the roof, obviously, I used acacia stairs and slabs. Let me get those really fast. All right. So once you've got your acacia stairs and slabs, and really it could be any wood. The only reason I used acacia was to match the wood on the front. So it could be any wood that you'd like to use. And I try to run the roof going this way so that the ridge line runs uh, perpendicular to the sail. The sail is going this way and the ridge line of the roof should go this way to run perpendicular to it. So let's just install this roof really quickly. And it's just the most simplistic roof that you could ever, ever imagine because I'm not, I'm not going for fancy here. I'm not going for anything that's going to be difficult to do. All I want is a little tiny roof up here like that. Now, obviously this looks way too nice for the rest of the build. So what we're gonna do is take some of it out <laughs> and just give it a more busted up feel to it. Yeah, like that. There we go. That's the roof we want. So once you've got that installed, then you're done with the exterior and you can focus on the interior. Now. All right, so we've got everything we need. We've got a barrel, chest, composter, hopper, grass, rose bush. And it doesn't have to be grass, it could be dirt. Rose bush, trap doors, a lantern, and a chain. So the chain goes right here in the middle. This, oops, sorry. Hmm. Pushed that by mistake. This is to keep mobs from just wandering in. So there is no door, as you can see. Yeah, no door. But 
and I can fit through there, but it's in the path block and it's enough to at least so far in my world, it's been enough to confuse the mobs. So I don't ever have skeletons or creepers or <laughs> anybody else special waiting for me in there. And I can slip in and out without too much trouble. So I really like that there. Um, if you wanted it to look a little more purposeful and you had some gaps around the bottom, you could add some in there as well. So the lantern is for that to light this up. And it does a perfect job of that all on its own. The uh, the composter, the automatic composter machine will go over here and the stairway to that goes right here. So we'll go down here and we're going to put the chest in down here and then there will be a hopper leading into that, a composter leading into the hopper. Then you need another hopper going into the composter. And on top of that, hello, why won't you, there we go. And on top of that, a chest. So when you put something into the chest, it goes down into the composter and down into the other chest. And then, oh, the sun's going down. And then you get bone meal. So to test that out, let's grab a whole stack of trees and we'll just toss that in there. You can hear that going. And while that's going, we will do the rest of this work now. Obviously, we've made a bit of a mess in here, and we'll need to get some stone out to fix that. Now, you can use multiple types of stone like you see around here, or you can just go ahead and use regular stone. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it will affect the flooring if you used slabs, obviously. But basically, the only thing that I'm doing is just making it look a bit nicer down here so that I don't have to stare at uh, dirt every time I come down. Because I don't really want to stare at dirt every time. And uh, if you want to replace these with other types of stone, say, let's do some texturing with some cobble, that's Fine, and it'll give your floor a little bit of a, a textured look as well, which is just great. And you can go ahead and texture that in wherever you need it. And then you can also go ahead and grab some stairs if you'd like to and make this stairway up. To the top. I left it just with hopping steps <laughs> because um, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me to hop up here. And it's also a lot easier uh, to use the oops to use the trap doors if they're full steps and not stairs. So that's why I left it that way in my world. You can do whatever you'd like in your world. It's totally up to you. And I did take that out and put that there. So once your automatic composter is in, you can start decorating with barrels. And one of the ways that I like to use the barrels, there we go, is to go like that and like that. There we go. And I use my barrels to store dirt. So this would go in here. I use them to store flowers. Oh, that weather. I have the worst weather in this test world. And it would really help if I could spell. There we go. Okay. Then you can have barrels like that. And like I said, I, I keep dirt in here. I keep flowers in here. I keep all the... Um, 
all of the wheat that I gather from my wheat fields that I have planted around my windmill in here, right? And over here, I keep seeds. So that's how I that's how I used them in my world. And we'll take the rose bush out of here right now because we want to do our last bit of decoration. Boom. There we go. So that's the last bit of decoration that I put into my. Oh, I guess I can't get out because of that slab, huh? There we go. But I that's the last bit of decoration that I put into mine because I think it looks really cute to see a little plant growing in this uh, abandoned looking structure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's the windmill build, guys. That's, that's the entire thing right there. And, you know, if you want to make that in your world, I would just be thrilled. I would be so thrilled if you want to make this in your world. And if you want to send me pictures, that would be amazing. I'd love to see what you do to it, add to it, make it your own with. Um, and thank you. Thank you for stopping by and watching this tutorial. It's my very first one. If you have any tips or suggestions for me on what to do differently, how to improve, I would love to hear them. I'm always up for constructive criticism. I'd like to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by and watch this. And I hope you have an awesome one. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.